your hands out of my water. Who are you and why are you here? Did someone send you? Well, are you just going to stand there with your eyes widened or are you going to answer me? I see. How do I know you're not lying? How do I know you're not after me? You say you're exploring and curious and mean no harm, but my instincts tell me more than that. They tell me not to trust you because of your humanity. I'll admit, I've never truly met a human before, but I've heard many things about them. Most not pleasant. Oh no, I won't listen to your reasons and possibly lies. I'll find out if you're benevolent or malevolent myself. And if you mean any harm, well... Let's just say that bone pile over there may get a little bit more dense. Oh yes, those were not animal bones. Well, I suppose humans technically are animals. Either way, there is a highly slim chance that I won't harm you. That is, if you do not harm me in return, mentally or physically, do I make myself clear? That's good. Now, before I get further sidetracked, allow me to make my point. Give me a reason, if not more than one reason, why I should trust you, and why I shouldn't rip- Well, I accept your very poorly delivered apology, but... That's what they all say. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to trespass in your waters. Please don't hurt me. Would you like to know what they said next? Oh, foolish human. I would expect you to be aware that the dead cannot speak. And that, human is the origin story of that bone pile. Hmm? How? How do you not believe me? Me, a large and menacing monster that I did not kill humans before you. I can give you a first-hand experience if you'd like, human. That's what I thought. No, I will not let you take a closer look at the bones. I know you humans can be undeniably fragile and sensitive when it comes to other humans perishing. Not only that, but you've already explored my waters thoroughly enough. Knowing all the countless illnesses your kind carries, I may not be able to drink from my waters again. So don't you dare test me. If you irk me any further, to make a long story short, I've already lost enough. Therefore, I would not be afraid of losing a mere human, especially one that I barely even know. Oh, human, kindness and admiration will not save you from me. I've suffered immensely, and you will not lift my spirit with your words. Stop trying. I accept your sympathy, human, but I never asked for it. And don't you think for a second that you will get away with barging in, putting your hands in my water, and... What else? Uh, I'll be 
be honest about one thing. You give me very few reasons to despise you, besides factors that you cannot help, like your species. If my suspicions turn out to be false, and you really are somehow benevolent, my apologies. I... If I'm being honest, I have severe difficulties with trusting anyone. I am afraid it's a very, very long story, and I won't dare tell you now, especially since we do not know each other in the slightest, and I'm still not completely sure if I can trust you or not. But I will keep my eyes on you closely and determine if you're worthy of my trust or not. For now, human, I will not harm you. Just don't do anything inane. Or else, again, you'll make some new friends over there in the bone pile. You... You may not seem greedy or violent to me, yet I'm still on edge. You humans can often be extremely manipulative. As a matter of fact, I've heard that humans make a hobby and living out of faking, out of being manipulative. What do you call it? Acting. What do you mean, art? Ah, so to you it's used for entertainment? To me it just seems like advanced pretending. Your kind is so bizarre yet fascinating at times. The most bizarre thing I've found about you is why are you not fearful of me? You should be. I may not be completely visible to the human eye, but for your information, I am a ferocious beast with razor-sharp teeth that could rip through steel as if it was a sheet of paper. Why... why are you so kind to me? We barely know each other. I could be a sadistic behemoth who is luring you into your death for all you know. But I... I appreciate it. Well, I'm surprised that you... you like dragons. And apparently they intrigue you. However, you shouldn't like me. Why? Well, I'm not the ideal dragon. And if anything, it may seem like it, but I'm not a dragon. I am actually... I'm... a dragon. Stop laughing. I'm not funny. And I may be a dragon, yes, but... Compared to all the other breeds of dragon, my kind is near the bottom of the food chain. Why? We do not have arms or legs. Isn't that obvious? Or can you not see my silhouette and shadow in the darkness of this cave? Ah, oh, well, perhaps your vision in the dark isn't nearly as good as a dragon's. I still need to get used to calling myself a dragon. <laughs> Speaking of calling ourselves things, what's your name? I see. That's not a terrible name. My name? I will not reveal that yet. I'll reveal it once if I trust you more. Don't get your hopes up, human. 
Your kind is very flawed and often vexing. Chances are you'll do something that will irk me and things will not end well. Don't expect me to warm up to you so soon and easily. After all, at the moment, I am very easily aggravated. Although I do admit, you seem to care tremendously about first impressions, considering how you're acting in front of me. I can tell that there is something off. Unique would be the better word. I can sense that there is something, if not multiple things, that are unique about you. The reason I'm still paranoid and on edge is because I don't know if it's good or bad, so do not take it personally if I remain cautious around you for a very, very long time. I'm glad you understand, and I'm glad you haven't gotten on my nerves yet, which surprises me greatly. By now, I would have expected myself to force you out of my cave, but I find myself not minding too much, because you don't seem to mean any harm. Even if you did, you are the size of a rabbit compared to me, so once again, I'll warn you. You best not mean any malicious intent, or else we might find out how much pain a human body can handle before... Well, let's not get into that. As you can see, I tend to get very carried away with my threats. But don't let that make you think that I'm not being serious. Another thing is I'm very put off by this because no one willingly talks to me. Every single creature I've met try to flee away from me. But then again, I did try to hunt and eat them. It bewilders me, it really does, how you, a human who is but a small fraction of my size, who has no magical abilities besides the ability to apparently start a conversation with me. You, whose species has a filthy reputation, are consciously willing to visit me. Well, that is, if you knew I was lurking here. But in the case that you did not, I'm surprised that you were willing to stay. Until now, because would you look at that? Dusk. Yes, you might want to head back where you came from before it gets too dark outside, but mainly before I get any more hungry. <laughs> there you go. Finally deciding to leave, I see. I am surprised I didn't hurt you to make you leave. I'm pretty sure that the main reason I did not lose control over myself is because you didn't. You kept calm. Before you leave, I advise you to never come back and never trespass in my waters and in my cove again, for you may not find your way around me next time. Uh, hey, human, who I'm not willing to remember the name of. Yes, those were not human bones. I just... Uh, never mind. I've eaten one human before. I was not fond of how bony and flavorless your kind is. And I do not recommend biting into their stomach. Oh, you humans eat everything you come in contact with. And just disregard what I said about previous humans begging for their lives. You're the only human I've ever fully conversed with. I've tried everything I could to frighten you away, but you humans 
Oh, how I've forgotten how stubborn you are. You should still be scared, though. I am still a beast. Consider yourself the luckiest human being who ever walked these lands. For not only discovering, possibly, but hopefully not, the last serpent dragon there is, but not getting a single scratch on you. Now, leave. Wait, wait. One more thing. Do not tell anyone. And I mean do not tell anyone about me. Don't even mention the fact that we, that I exist. Now, bye. May you not trip on a seashell on your way out.